As is often the case, not everyone was included in the Emmys In Memoriam segment. But this year, two pretty big names who left us over the past year were simply left out. It was a big night at the 76th Primetime Emmy Awards on September 15, 2024. Shogun broke a record for the most wins in a single season. Other big winners included The Bear, Fargo, and Baby Reindeer. The annual ceremony also followed tradition and included an In Memoriam segment to honor the people the television industry had lost over the past year. Though the time frame this time was actually only eight months, the 75th Emmy Awards was held in January because of the 2023 writers and actors strikes. The memorial segment included a performance of I Am Not Okay by rapper and country singer Jelly Roll, who took some time away from his beautifully broken tour to appear on the show. I'm at the Emmys, man. This is crazy. You never know where God's going to take you to, right? Emmys music director Ricky Minor spoke to Variety about Jelly Roll's inclusion in the segment, saying, I think that his decision of what particular song to do will touch everyone. I cry every time I hear it. Everyone at home, make sure you have tons of tissue around. Jelly Roll himself spoke with Billboard about the song in July, telling the outlet, It's real music for real people with real problems. That struggle is something that a lot of my music touches on. It's something I am honest about with my own life, and something that's for anyone who is going through that. Perhaps the producers thought viewers would be too overcome with emotion from the song to notice who they left out in the In Memoriam, but plenty caught that actress Shelley Duvall wasn't part of the segment. She was mainly known for films like The Shining, but also did quite a bit of TV work, including creating and hosting fairy tale theater. She died in July of complications from diabetes at the age of 70. Also missing was Joe Flaherty, who comedy fans know as one of the original cast members of SCTV in the late 1970s and early 80s. Flaherty went on to appear in a variety of TV shows, including Freaks and Geeks. He died in April at the age of 82. Among those dearly departed who were included in the segment were legendary actor James Earl Jones, perennial talk show guest and sometimes host Dr. Ruth Westheimer, producer and talk show host Phil Donahue, and comedian Richard Lewis, among many others. Notably, Donald Sutherland, who like Duvall, mostly appeared in film but made his way to TV for shows like Crossing Lines was part of the presentation too. There's only so much time that can be devoted to an in-memoriam segment, so it's not totally surprising that there were a few snubs. It seems to happen every year. At the 75th Emmys back in January, viewers noticed that Ahsoka actor Ray Stevenson, Fantastic Voyage actress Raquel Welch, and talk show host Jerry Springer had been snubbed. At the awards in September 2022, even more people went unmentioned. Beverly Hills 90210 stars Denise Douse, Pat Carroll, and Joey Tata, comedian Norm MacDonald, and Carrie Director actor Philip Baker Hall. Singer and actress Olivia Newton-John was also omitted, but listed on the Emmys in Memoriam website. Entertainment officials have pointed to time constraints to defend such snubs. One member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences who has been involved in the decision-making process for the Oscars in Memoriam segment told Vanity Fair the painstaking process can take hours, saying, It's all about status. It's impossible to be fair. You try every year to add in a certain number of editors and art directors. It's about a person's prominence in their field, and you don't want to just go with the movie stars or the big-time directors. 